And welcome back to The Verdict. Mick Cornett with Kent Myers. Glad you're here with us this week. You know, you never really know what you're going to get on this show. You really don't. And we've got an exciting show today, a father-daughter combination, a famous father-daughter combination of Kelly O'Hara and Father Pat O'Hara. They've agreed to join us today just after the closing run of uh, Lyrics production of Oklahoma, the Centennial production. And uh, uh, Kelly was the star of that show, and she's going to come tell us about her career, and Pat's going to tell us how he was uh, uh, very instrumental in making that career <laughs> successful. Kelly, back from Broadway to talk with us today on The Verdict. We'll be right back. Driving rain, blistering heat, and bitter cold. 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. Chesapeake drills nonstop for natural gas on American soil. Chesapeake drills more new gas wells than anyone else. And from those wells, collects the most drilling information and acquires more 3D seismic images, leveraging every efficiency to improve the odds of finding more natural gas every day with every well we drill. The better job we do of discovering bigger reserves of clean, burning American natural gas, the greater the prosperity of our nearby communities, our state, and our nation. And as long as there are more gas reserves to be found here in the U.S., we will never rest. Chesapeake. Natural gas wins the day. Pledge as a company is to provide quality of service for our paying customers. When you illegally hook up cable, everyone pays. Theft of cable can cause outages. Sometimes poor reception. We seek out illegal use. And we prosecute offenders. If you know someone not paying for service, call us at 1-800-466-5590. You could remain anonymous. Cable theft. It's more serious than you think. It's a crime. There's a whole new world online, but it's not always safe for kids. Never agree to meet anyone you only know online, because they might not be who they say they are. And if you must meet them, take a parent along. It's the safe way for kids. Right, gang? Life be safe online. Thanks to Lauren Nelson and Cox, we're working to keep Oklahoma kids safer online. For your free guide, log on now. And if you feel your child has been placed in danger by someone online, notify law enforcement today. Welcome back to The Verdict. Mick Cornett with Kent Myers, and Kent's going to introduce today's guest. Yeah, we are really thrilled today to have a father-daughter combination join us to talk about uh, what's going on in their lives uh, in Oklahoma. They're a famous uh, combination. On my right is Kelly O'Hara. Kelly is an Oklahoma City University graduate, a native of uh, Elk City, or at least spent a lot of her growing up years in Elk City. She went on after uh, OCU to uh, study uh, with the uh, Lee Strasberg Theater Institute. She took acting, voice, and uh, dancing instruction as well before she broke into Broadway. Uh, she has been in such Broadway productions as Pajama Game, Light in the Piazza, uh, The Sweet Smell of Success, Dracula, and others. Uh, she uh, just finished the Oklahoma Centennial Run at Lyric Theater of Oklahoma and was kind enough to join us for her first, and I hope not her last, appearance on The Verdict. Welcome. Thank you so much. To my left is her father, Pat O'Hara, a longtime friend of mine. Pat is a lawyer in Oklahoma City and in Elk City, maintains two offices, has quite a stellar background. He was an undergraduate uh, of the University of Oklahoma. He was a law graduate of the University of Oklahoma and uh, finished with highest honors and Order of the Coif 
uh, which uh, means it's, he really did well. <laughs> uh, he uh, also was a CPA for a number of years before he decided to practice law. He's been in private practice uh, for a number of years. He is uh, known in the community as an outstanding person as well as an outstanding uh, practitioner, and I do not want to leave out uh, Patrick, uh, Anne Marie, and Lori uh, of the family. Yes. That's right, Laura. My, Laura. my wife, Laura. Laura, I'm sorry. <laughs> Apologize, Laura. Uh, we're uh, grateful to all the, uh, the family of joining us today and the, the O'Hara family, and we're uh, sure glad to have you. Thank you, Kent. It's nice to be here. <laughs> Kelly, going from Oklahoma City University to Broadway is not unique. You've had some people that do it before you, but it is fairly unique to be able to fit into your schedule to come back and perform in Oklahoma City, and that's what you were able to do with Lyric in Oklahoma. How did all that work out, and when you heard about it, um, what were your immediate thoughts? Well, I certainly uh, didn't know if I'd ever get the opportunity to actually come home to my family and work at the same time. I always felt like there were two separate entities there. So getting the chance to come home, do what I do up in New York, but do it here with my family was the best thing in the world. Um, Nick uh, Demas, who runs Lyric Theater, uh, took my parents out to dinner a couple of years ago and, and got them on board to get me to come home and do this. And <laughs> I, it was an easy choice. I said, of course I will if I can. And um, I'm getting married next month, so the summer was kind of, I left it open, and it just happened to uh, be a great time, and, and here I am, and I've been home for a whole month, and it's been wonderful. Lyric has provided us with a two-minute clip. Can you kind of set this up? What are we about to see? Uh, surely. This is one of the most uh, famous songs uh, from the show called People Will Say We're In Love, and it's kind of the the flirting number between Curly and, and Laurie, and uh, Will Chase and I are here to uh, perform it right here uh, from the show. So let's hear it. Like a swarm of mud wasps, always gotta be buzzing about something. Oh, what are they saying? That you're stuck on me? <laughs> Most of the talk is that you're stuck on me. Can't imagine how these ugly rumors start. Me neither. Why do they make up stories that link my name with yours? Why do the neighbors chatter all day behind their doors? from the June performance at Lyric Theater at the Civic Center Music Hall. Wonderful performance, and I know you had sold out crowds every night. Every night, it was wonderful, thank well, you. Well, thanks for doing it for the state of Oklahoma. I, absolutely, it was for me too. <laughs> well, let's talk about something else that I've understand, understood that you're gonna be involved in, and that's South Pacific. That's right. Um, Tell us about that. Well, it's uh, it's just on the um, the ground here. Uh, they're, they're casting for the show. It's coming back to Broadway for the first time in 60 years, I think, since Mary Martin on Broadway. Um, they're finally reviving it, and I think I'm going to be playing Nellie Forbush, which is going to be wonderful, at Lincoln Center. Um, and that'll be begin in March. And that's the same theater, I guess, that had light in the piazza it's as well. It's exactly the same theater, the same director and same set designer and everything. Well, good luck with that. Thank you so much. Pat. Uh, yes, sir. Tell us about uh, the rest of your family. Uh, I see why I got Lori and Laura mixed up because if we were watching <laughs> Lori and your wife is Laura. But uh, tell us about your Oklahoma roots. 
Okay. Any funny stories about Kelly's childhood? <laughs> oh, it's just, it's, it's, it's been a delight her whole life. Um, got to, I hate to do this to you, but my undergraduate degree was Oklahoma State. So I've, I've, ah. I've, hit, I've had the best of both worlds. Well, you did. Here in the state of Oklahoma. Um, uh, I went to school, as I said, at Oklahoma State and then uh, spent a large part of, of the time that Kelly and, and her sister Ann Marie and, and our son Patrick growing up out in western Oklahoma in Elk City. Uh, for a lot of those years, we farmed and ranched, and, and uh, I think probably one of my fondest memories of Kelly are her years chopping cotton out with her brother and sister. And uh, she'll tell you a good story about how just hard, how hard she did work on the farm. And uh, it really was, it, it was a good life for them and we loved it. But uh, I decided later in life, actually when Kelly was in starting high school, uh, that I kind of needed a change in direction. And so I asked her and her mother and, and brother and sister if it would be all right if I went to law school then. And uh, they graciously let me and, and that led us to Oklahoma City where Kelly finished her high school career. And then uh, Patrick and Anne Marie went to Oklahoma State and Kelly pursued fine arts at OCU under Florence Birdwell. And, and that's been a marvelous experience for us as well as Kelly. You have a small town practice and a, and a bigger town practice. Uh, how do you balance those? Well, I like to call myself kind of a, just a jack of all trades, I guess. I, I try to, to be what small town people need in a lawyer. Uh, they have a lot of varied questions and I've always had, you know, because of my accounting degree and, and uh, practiced as a CPA a lot of the years that I farmed and so I've got a background in business and tax and so that allowed me to help, help people with those issues as I learned to uh, more of the uh, uh, varied uh, uh, parts of the legal profession, including litigation. And uh, so uh, putting all of that together, I've, I've been able to maintain a fairly general practice. Mm -hmm can't do some of the things you do, like antitrust, but... Uh, well, I can't do any of what you do. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get into our first break. Pat O'Hara, Kelly O'Hara, you're watching The Verdict. We'll be right back with another segment. Shining is taking responsibility. At Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Oklahoma, we know managing your health care can be overwhelming, and it's our job to help you meet the challenge. By guiding, supporting, and showing the way, we encourage you to gain control. Because we believe the best tool we can give you is the confidence to take charge. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oklahoma, shining through. Okiwani is an Indian name for a place where children play. When we obtained the camp, we found a lot of oil debris left in the woods. We saw a commercial about how the oil and natural gas industry cleans up old oil well sites. We called the OERB and they agreed to remove tons of concrete and steel. It didn't cost us a thing. Thousands of children have left their footprints on this land. Thanks to the oil and gas industry, they will for a long time to come. All children deserve a life of hope and love, but sometimes they experience a life of pain, neglect, and abuse. When that happens, each child deserves all the quality, assistance, and representation that can be offered in our legal system. For more information, call 23CHILD. Oklahoma Lawyers for Children, helping to bring hope and love back to the lives of abused children. There's a whole new world online, but it's not always safe for kids. What if someone you meet online sends a message that makes you feel uncomfortable? Tell a parent or teacher right now. It's the safe way for kids. Right, gang? Life be safe online. Thanks to Lauren Nelson and Cox, we're working to keep Oklahoma kids safer online. For your free guide, log on now. And if you feel your child has been placed in danger by someone online, notify law enforcement today. Hi, this is James Garner. Hi, this is Reba McIntyre. Hi, this is Johnny Bench. Hi, I'm Barry Switzer. Hey, everybody, this is Vince Gill. Welcome to my home state of Oklahoma, where we'll be celebrating 100 years of statehood in 2007. Our strength is our people, and the 2,100 Oklahomans from the Cox Communications family are proud to be part of Oklahoma's story. Cox and Oklahoma, true partners. Happy birthday, Oklahoma.
Welcome back to the set of The Verdict. Mick Cornett with Kent Myers, as always, Pat O'Hara and Kelly O'Hara. Kelly just finished uh, a run at, from a lyric production of Oklahoma at the Civic Center, and uh, she'll be heading back to New York and back to her Broadway career. But I wanted to ask you about performing back in Oklahoma City. From a performer's point of view, was it any different performing in front of a hometown crowd, or once the performance began, did it, was it all the same? Well, I have to admit, I, I expected to be a hugely different. Uh, it wasn't though. It, uh, performing in front of the crowd was different. The crowd was so accepting and so generous. We, everyone on that stage was blown away. Uh, there were tears on that stage just by the first response we got. The, the audience stood up and clapped when we started singing Oklahoma. You don't get that audience participation a lot in New York with anything, <laughs> obviously. But the, 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 uh, the, the class of the production was so very much like Broadway. I, I just felt like everything was so well done sets, costumes, the acting on stage. I, I felt like I was in New York, but in Oklahoma, so it was wonderful. Pat, uh, how long have you known or had an inkling that Kelly was likely to end up in show business? Well, you know, I've, I've thought back and, and uh, until she was probably out of grade school, I thought I was the talented one in the family. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think Laura uh, drug me to a little junior high program. And uh, for the first time, I said, my gosh. And, and I do remember asking Laura, I said, where did that come from? I <laughs> had never heard that. And that was in, in junior high. And, what, and, what performance was that? Do you remember? Oh, gosh. And, uh, one, of, one of the ones that stuck in my mind more than any was a little talent show that uh, Kelly and her sister did. Mm -hmm. and, and they sang a, a song that the Judds, that Naomi and Winona Judge sang. And, and uh, Anne Marie sings wonderfully, too. And, and it just blew me away, and, and then Kelly went on to Deer Creek and, and really grew, and then it was so amazing to see what she did while she was at OCU. And sending a daughter to New York is just not an everyday occurrence. What advice did you give her before you, you sent her to the Big Apple? Well, I actually took her. <laughs> I, hadn't, I hadn't been to New York You in didn't a while. move up there. <laughs> no. no, but I hadn't been to New York in a while, and, and I, I was really worried. I, I didn't want her to go. And I thought the best best way for me probably to prevent it was to take her up there, just to show her how, how sordid that kind of life would be. <laughs> and I got there, this was in 1998, mm -hmm, I think, mm -hmm. and uh, was just amazed at, at how wonderfully they had renovated the city in Manhattan and, and how nice a place it really was. And so we began to look for apartments. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, uh, Kelly, how does one, quote, break in, close quote, from the Oklahoma farm chopping cotton to uh, <laughs> right. starring on Broadway? Well, I, I, there are many, many different ways, but I think uh, you just hit the nail on the head there. Um, I think there are different types of people they're looking for, and that may have just been what opened the doors for me, was where I came from, my roots, what kind of person I was. I think that that was a, a, maybe a breath of fresh air, to come in with, with, um, with a little bit of Oklahoma on my side, and, and I think that they found that to be maybe hopefully charming, and, and I got, uh, you know, my first job, and, and it was due to that, I think. And the family's influence on your career as a, from a support situation. Oh, I don't think I would be there doing what I'm doing if I do, didn't have that. I just, that is so instrumental. They, they've been there for every single opening, for every single show I've done. Um, I, I wouldn't want to do it if I couldn't share it with them, mm -hmm. and so that support. It's very hard to be away from home, but knowing that they're going to be there and, and to support me has just been everything to me. And we haven't given you a chance to, to talk about OCU and uh, the wonderful experience you had there. Obviously, that was a, a large level of the preparation necessary to, to meet Absolutely. the success. Absolutely. I, I, those four years for me were instrumental. A lot of people move up right after high school. I needed those four years with Florence Birdwell, with OCU, to kind of to learn my craft, to find out what I wanted to do. I didn't really know I wanted to move to New York until I went there. And, and, and really studied the, the craft. And I, um, it, it taught me everything. It gave me my, my backbone, really, to, to have the confidence to move up there. So it isn't simply talent, it's talents plus the hard work <laughs> in, uh, in learning. Oh, absolutely, yes. Well, <clears throat> um, you've had a number of starring roles in major uh, Broadway productions. Pajama Game, Sweet Smell of Success, Light in the Piazza, and you were in Dracula and others. Mm -hmm. Uh, what has been your favorite role so far? Well, you know, I, um, I, I'm now, I have a new one. I used to say it was probably The Light in the Piazza. Um, I just did a version uh, with the New York City Philharmonic of um, My Fair Lady. 
and I did um, with um, Kelsey Grammer and Brian Dennehy, and it was it was the most wonderful time. Eliza Doolittle is. It was the most wonderful role I've ever gotten to play. It was a short-lived uh, thing. It was just a special event, about four nights. But I just, I wish that I could do it forever. <laughs> it was wonderful. So what's next? What are you telling your agent to look for? Well, you know, I think that what comes next in theater is you do a lot of it and you want to keep doing it. And therefore, a lot of people go to do television and film and things so that they can keep coming back. And you kind of have to establish yourself in, in that uh, genre, too. So I'm, I'm doing a lot of that auditioning. Um, so we'll see about that. But I'm right now. I'm doing a lot of concert work, which is very fulfilling for me. Uh, just standing in front of symphonies and singing to a large audience. Um, uh, it's going to be kind of the great thing about the business is that it's all very different. Uh, you do different things all the time. So I think now before this next show, South Pacific, I'll be doing concert work and and maybe a little little television. Uh, well, I know Kristen Chenoweth has uh, branched over into television right. in, in uh, some sitcoms and the like and mm -hmm. other things. Uh, right. You're thinking about that perhaps? Well, yeah, I think, um, you know, we're very different types. She has just really taken Hollywood by storm. I mean, she's doing well mm -hmm. out there. I may, I may do it a little, I mean, if I can, I would love to do some, um, but I would also just love to... Um, I love theater. I'm, I'm, I'm really stuck in New York, I think. That's where I want to be. So if I do a little bit to keep my theater career going, that's, that's the, what's most, most important to me. Pat, uh, how does it feel to be known now instead of as, as Pat O'Hare, but uh, Kelly's dad? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I couldn't be more proud. And, uh, you know, uh, Mick asked me a while ago what advice I gave Kelly, and, and, and I really didn't answer the question. I told her when she left just to never forget who she was. She really hasn't, and uh, so uh, I'm fine. Being Kelly O'Hare's dad, I can't think of anything I'd rather be. Well, I know I don't know your other daughter, but I do know your, your son Patrick, and, and that would be a very fine uh, thing to be known as as well. Well, uh, certainly. All, all three of my children and my wife, I'm, I'm so proud of, of my family and the family life we have, and uh, I owe it all to them, and, and what I am. Whatever that is, and for whatever it's worth, I owe to them. Well, you, you all are a, a, a testament to the value of growing up in western Oklahoma. I, I would agree with that. I think it was a great place for these kids to grow up. It's where I grew up, and uh, I encourage anybody that has, uh, thinks they might like that to at least try it. We've got about 30 seconds left, Kelly. I'm sure people in New York sometimes ask you about Oklahoma. What do you tell them about Oklahoma? Well, I tell them Oklahoma is up, about people. Um, you know, you may not come there to snow ski or to, uh, you know, see Broadway, uh, w except for this summer. You, you pretty much did. I tell them it's about people and, and loving people and getting together with people and eating lots of great food because that's what it is to me. <laughs> um, it's just, it's a wonderful place to, to grow up and to be. Best of luck, and we look forward to having you back in Oklahoma again soon. Thank you so much. All right. Kelly O'Hara, Pat O'Hara. Kent and I will have a final word after this. Thank you. Good life comes naturally to Tulsa, where nature's beauty is matched with an eye for aesthetics. A legacy of neighborhoods graced with lawns and landscaping and handsome homes. A place that seems to have patented an ideal lifestyle. Bank First is loyal to the quality of life Tulsa assures its citizens, to the priority placed on education, culture, and growth. Loyal to builders who transform raw land into residential charm. Developers who see opportunity and add vitality to Tulsa's economy. Bank First serves both enterprise and private lives that need a loyal partner. It's how we help nurture this city's very good life. Bank First. Loyal to Oklahoma. Loyal to you. The Journal Record is pleased to be a sponsor of The Verdict. The Journal Record, since 1903, the best source of Oklahoma business news and legal information. Channel. 
following your favorite teams all season long. Hi, this is James Garner. Hi, this is Reba McIntyre. Hi, this is Johnny Bench. Hi, I'm Barry Switzer. Hey, everybody, this is Vince Gill. Welcome to my home state of Oklahoma, where we'll be celebrating 100 years of statehood in 2007. Our strength is our people, and the 2100 Oklahomans from the Cox Communications family are proud to be part of Oklahoma's story. Cox and Oklahoma, true partners. Happy birthday, Oklahoma. I tell you, you know how to set up a show. You were the one that uh, coordinated those two guests, and boy, they were they were impressive. In well, right. I knew Pat O'Hare. Yeah. That that made it a lot easier. When you know the father, sometimes you're able to get the to get the children as well. Well, but, uh, my wife and I attended uh, the Oklahoma performance down at the Civic Center Music Hall, and uh, Kelly was just so wonderful. And it was uh, terrific of her to come back and share her talents with this Oklahoma audience. Well, I, I know the state centennial was part of that, but it was just wonderful wonderful of her to do it. If you you just have to list four names to know how prominent Oklahoma is in the Broadway community with Kelly, uh, Laura Teeter, uh, Stacy Logan, and Kristen Chenoweth. Those are four people that have done marvelous things on Broadway and they all came through the Oklahoma City University uh, Oklahoma connection to make a big difference on Broadway and uh, uh, we, we're doing something right in that regard. Pretty amazing. What about next week's show? Next week's show, by the way, I want to apologize for not being present next week. You're going to have it on your own. Yeah, but ratings uh, will soar. Yep, yeah, that's, okay. uh, that's all right. If you need any help, just call me. <laughs> uh, we're going to have Harlan Stone Cipher, uh, the uh, Chief Executive Officer of Prepaid Legal, and Bob Rabbits, the Oklahoma County Public Defender, talking about access to justice, access to lawyers. And if there's an issue you'd like to see on an upcoming episode of The Verdict, go to our website and let us know, theverdict.tv. For Kent Myers, I'm Mick Cornett. We'll see you next time on The Verdict. The preceding program was produced by the Production Services Group at Cox Communications, exclusively for the Cox Channel.